What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I bought an Apple TV, and this is the remote for it. Um, and uh, the new Apple TV is uh, pretty nice. I really, really like it. But one bad thing about this remote is that it's super uh, confusing to know which way it is oriented when it's dark because it's all black. You know, imagine that. Imagine when you're uh, just reaching for it. And there have been a number of times when I've held it upside down because the buttons are centered exactly in the middle. Uh, to me, from a design standpoint, I actually would have liked a little bit more of a bulge here so when you pick it up it fits my hand a little bit better because it's kind of way out here you know it's kind of it doesn't really naturally fit to be honest and uh, it's a Johnny Ive miss in my opinion um, but th there should be a little bit more substance back here and you know whatever but in an effort to not only I guess protect it which is not my primary concern uh, but in an effort to make it a little bit more tactile and obvious the way I'm holding it I picked up one of these silicone cases, and as you can see here, it's got a built-in lanyard, which is probably not what I needed. Uh, it does have a cutout here so that you can still access the lightning port to uh, charge it. It has a lot of distinct hexagonal tread here. We have a hole here for the microphone. It is a little bit uh, concave here, so you get a little bit of Coke bottling. And even at the top here, this, this portion, top and bottom, kind of... Uh, curves in so you get a little bit of uh, contour to it and then the whole bottom portion here is covered up by silicone and then it has like a raised edge all the way around so if we just put it in here I'm just gonna, gonna slide it in here and then I think you just slide it in there and pretty easy to do as you can see this is what it looks like it's got a nice feel it adds almost actually kind of the amount of thickness to it that I would like. It kind of feels more substantial. It doesn't feel like it's going to slide out and doesn't make it a slippery. I kind of really like the texture, especially that it rolls over the edge here. So you kind of still get the texture because I don't know that you're going to get it on the back, I guess, if you put your fingers back there. But now, kind of like at a glance, I can feel that the silicone's back here. I know this is the bottom. I know this is the back end. All the buttons are where they need to be. And if I were running my thumb here in the dark or something, I would know that's not the trackpad. I would be up here. So this is what it looks like. I'm pretty impressed with this. This is uh, well under 10 bucks. I think this was like seven something. And, you know, I just think a nice way to kind of keep it protected. Certainly could put it around your wrist or something like that. Uh, I also think it, in the different colors, it makes it a little more obvious in kind of low light where it is. Sometimes this is really hard to find on a blanket or an ottoman or, or in a seat cushion. So pretty cool. Check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda out.